assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you all i hope you are all fine and safe students i am your english teacher and today i am here with my grade 3 students with a new thing actually it's not a new task it's it is something which you have already done in your previous class and i know you are going to enjoy it also today we are going to do picture description hmm wow i must say i can see a really very beautiful picture on the screen it is so colorful i like this picture a lot did you like the picture too yes very good all right students before starting today's lesson let me tell you that by the end of this lesson you will be able to write several sentences related to the given picture after looking at it it means that by the end of today's lesson you will learn that how can you describe a picture how can you write sentences to describe the picture that i have given you okay okay before starting our work I have a small activity for you. I want you to tell me that what is meant by description. What do I mean by the word description? Do you all know? And secondly, you are going to tell me that what is picture description? Firstly, what is the meaning of the word description? Secondly, what is picture description? Do you know? you know it very good i knew that you know it you know why because we have already done it in previous class anyways even then i will explain it to you a written or a spoken statement which gives details about something is called description and secondly picture description means to tell what you can see or what is happening in the picture students if you see at answer number 1 it is actually telling us that what is meant by the word description description means when you are telling something more about a person place or a thing for example if i am talking about a girl if you tell about her appearance about her likes about her dislikes you are actually describing the girl if i am talking about a place such as park or let's say school and you are telling about what's there in the park or what kind what kind of building is your school like you are actually describing them and secondly picture description means to tell what you can see or what is happening in the picture when you tell when you look at the picture and you start telling or you start writing that what are things there in the picture what are if there are people what are they doing in the picture you are actually describing them describing it okay so these are your answers for the questions that i gave you in your warm up activity all right so now are you ready for today's task wow i am also ready so let's begin students first of all for doing picture description you should know that what should a picture description include what should you write in it so firstly what you are going to do is number 1 you are going to explain the scene as you can see i have written explanation of the scene when i say explanation of the scene i mean tell what the picture is about describe the specific details of the picture use words like colorful beautiful etc first of all it is very important that you are going to tell that what is the picture is about for example if it's about a birthday party you will write the picture is about a birthday party or if it's about a wedding you you are going to mention that or if it's about an accident you are going to write that so basically first thing you are going to tell is that what is the picture about okay you then you are going to tell about small details for example did you find the picture beautiful is it colorful or not is it beautiful or not so these are all the specific details that you are going to mention okay so firstly you are going to tell what the picture is showing what is the scene given to you is about and secondly you are going to give the specific details about the picture all right now let's see what's next next we are going to write what is in the picture 
students when i say what is in the picture i am talking about what you can see in the picture for example if it's a picture about as i mentioned earlier a birthday party you might see there are many you can see that uh in the picture you would see a cake some decorations lightings children you'll see a table you'll see many food items so you are going to tell what's there in the picture what you can see in the picture and to tell and write your uh, thoughts you are going to use sentences like in the picture i can see whatever you can see if it's a picture about a park you can see right i can see many trees i can see many birds and more examples of sentences are there is a there are you can begin the sentence with like the roads are or the color of the car is so depending upon the picture and the scene given to you you are going to write sentences students if you have noticed i have given you different beginning words for every sentence for example in the picture i can see there is a there are the roads are the color of the car is this is because you are you should try to write sentences in a different manner you should try to change the sentence structure by changing the words if you write only one sentence if you write only same uh, similar words in every sentence for example there is a car there is a bus there is a uh, what say there is a bird there, there is a tree it will not look nice it, it it's going to look monotonous so what you should do is you should change the beginning let uh, words of every sentence all right according to your thoughts and according to your given uh, scene or the picture now the third thing what you are going to write is what is happening and for this you can use sentences like a man is a baby is the people are a bird is the ducks are swimming now when i say what's happening in the picture i'm talking about what people and animals are doing in the picture if there are any animals of course if there aren't any animal animals you are not going to mention them you are just going to mention whatever you are look uh, you whatever you can see in the picture so again try to use different words to write sentences don't write one sentence repeatedly and try to arrange your thoughts according to your uh, according to the sequence for example if you are writing don't mix up your thoughts basically okay so this is what you are going to write in your picture description these are all the points that you should include while describing a picture all right explanation of the scene explain the scene whatever it is about what is in the picture what you can see what things you can see what uh, uh, what uh, and uh, how many people are there in the picture then what's happening what the people are doing for example a man is sitting standing or whatever he is doing a baby is crying or sleeping uh, write sentences according to the given picture to you okay you can take help from these sentences and you can think of your own sentences also all right next students i have some very important things for you and you should know them read and follow the instructions before you start writing of course there are certain points which you should read from here and you should follow before you start doing your task firstly make sure you observe the picture carefully yes it is really very important students you have you sh- what you should do is or what you are going to do is you are going to look at the picture very carefully look at it very carefully observe it just notice what is happening what's going on what everybody is doing how many things are there how many people are there whatever uh, the scene is about and you should be very keen about it you should do it very carefully secondly write your down your observations as points in your notebooks these points will help you write meaningful sentences to form a composition then secondly what you are going to do is to make your work easy and simpler you can just write down uh, one one word about the picture for example if it's about a birthday party you will write birthday party and then if you can you know, obviously if it's a birthday party picture you will see many pic- uh, cakes you can write about <clears throat> other things that are there in the picture for example write one word about like write cake and write children write decorations just write one one word or phrases in your notebook just to make sure that you 
noticed you've observed each and everything given in the picture these points will help you to form sentences all right and those sentences will obviously help you to finish your task all right then write meaningful and complete sentences related to the picture students this point is really very important you should write complete sentences what i have noticed in your previous works is that you leave the sentence incomplete there are many words the words are full stop and you uh, begin with the second sentence so make sure you write complete sentences when i when i say meaningful sentences i mean that your sentences should have some meaning all right they should have some structure they should have something um explained in them all right then use different words to start your sentences of course as i've already mentioned don't use same words to begin every sentence don't use there is there is there is in every sentence don't use there are there are there are every in every sentence try to change your words you can write one sentence beginning with the words there is a car or there is a cake second sentence you can write there are children or i can see many children so try to change the words of your sentences last but not the least you are going to write in a neat and beautiful handwriting all right students make sure you follow this rule this instruction really very very strictly all right so let's talk about today's task today's task is write a few sentences to describe the given picture i have given you a picture here what you are going to do is you are going to write few sentences about it and make sure you are writing it in a paragraph don't write in number forms write it in a paragraph so here is your picture for today as you can see it's a really colorful picture it's i mean i find it very beautiful and i think it's it's a picture about showing a park i'm going let's discuss a few things all right let's just tell me what you can see in the picture okay there are many people in the picture there is a tree there is a tree house there are many houses all right very good there is a bus anything else can you think of something else there is a pond okay very good what else now these are the points what you can see in the picture firstly you you've told what is the picture about it's about a park and it's very very beautiful and it's a colorful picture then you are going to tell me what you can see in the picture as you as we've already discussed there are many people there's a dustbin there's a tree there's a tree house there are houses birds i can see an airplane i can see a bus i can see a pond there are some um i think a swan and a duck in a pond um, there are animals children are, all right so these are all the things i can see in the picture and of course there are many other things also which you are going to find out yourselves then i'm going to write or we are going to write what's happening in the picture what are people and animal doing for example if you can see a boy is painting and the if a woman is selling things another boy is jogging two children are playing uh, parents are sitting with their children so this is what this is how you are going to write just look at each and everything given in this picture there's a, the sun is shining i can see clouds i can see houses i can see a road a boy is cycling there are there is a policeman there is a guard there is umbrella there are animals you are going to write about each and as many maximum things as you can this is a really very interesting picture and and it has many things which you can describe all right so make sure you observe it carefully okay so this is the picture which you are going to describe and you are going to write sentences about in your notebooks you are going to write it in paragraph students now have i have some rules for you these are your ru rules for your notebook containers firstly notebook should be co covered and kept in a good condition throughout the term yes this is really very important you should have your work, uh, notebooks covered and kept in a good condition secondly do not scribble on your books in your books notebooks as i always tell you do not write anything extra in your school notebooks do not there is no need to draw anything there is no need to draw any hearts or any circles or any or any spirals or anything in your notebooks all right 
then turn the page politely from the top right corner students please 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 turn the page properly use your thumb and your first two fingers to turn the page from the top right corner then instructions for your tasks are that write date and day you should write date and day before doing your task secondly on the first line give the heading picture description and underline it with blue color don't forget to mention date and date and then on the first line give the heading picture description and underline it with blue color after writing the heading different pic uh, picture description you are going to leave one line all right don't forget to leave this line then draw an ending line after finishing your work you are going to draw an ending line after finishing your work and then obviously again write and write in neat and beautiful handwriting okay don't forget do not forget this do your work very neatly and in beautiful handwriting all right so so now just let's quickly wrap up what we've studied in today's lesson we've studied that how to now can we observe the picture carefully by looking at it carefully and we've learned that how to describe a picture how can we write sentences to describe a picture so students this was all for today's lesson i hope you are, you find it easy and it's and you'll find it interesting and i hope you are not going to face any problem even then if you have you can always ask me and until i see you next time allah hafiz